The Buffalo Niagara International Airport is as busy as ever and in the middle of an $80 million expansion. The main goal is to help passengers, but this can also make Buffalo more attractive for businesses. Tonight, Keith Radford goes in depth, taking a look at where the airports in Buffalo and Niagara Falls have been and where they're going. It is one of the oldest public airports in the country, opened in 1926 as the Buffalo Municipal Airport, with only airmail service. And then a year later, the first passenger flight went to Cleveland. Almost a century later, more than 5 million passengers a year now come and go through what is now called the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. 100 flights a day to 25 non-stop destinations. Rated the top medium-sized airport in the U.S. It has grown by leaps and bounds over the decades. But is it enough when it comes to attracting new business to Western New York? If you were to ask Amazon when they did the whole headquarters thing and we did that with our friends in Rochester, no, it wasn't. It wasn't good enough. There is no question that Buffalo and Western New York are on the rebound, but when companies look to set up or expand or relocate, they look at the available workforce, the cost of doing business, the cost of living for employees, and just as important. An airport is, is especially in, the, in this economy, and if you're looking 10 years out and then farther out, um, we've become a global economy. So access to the world quickly is very important. The NFTA knows all too well the important role it can play in helping to attract new business here. The third expansion of the airport since the new terminal was built 20 years ago is now underway. So we're embarking on about an $80 million project to help the flow of the, of the way the terminal works, into and out of the terminal, how you get in, how you get out, expanding the checkpoint area, expanding the baggage claim area as well. The facility is one thing. But it doesn't matter how nice it is if you can't easily get to where you need to go. Buffalo still needs more non-stops to more places if it wants to attract more business here. There are a number of efforts going on, one led by Senator Tim Kennedy, okay. uh, the other by Senator Schumer. One is uh, international flights, the other is domestic flights. Uh, we have to demonstrate the, uh, to these airlines, these carriers, uh, that it's worth investing in Buffalo. So we've talked to a number of different countries. We, you know, we've talked to the UK, we've talked to airports in Spain, talked to about airports over in Ireland, we've talked about airports even over in the, in the, in the Asian markets. It's a tough get for us because of, again, Toronto being not just North of us, which has plenty of traffic to those destinations. For the airlines, it's pretty simple. New routes would be here in a minute, but one thing is needed first. Demand. Very simple. Supply demand. We need people. We need people. Uh, part of our Be in Buffalo campaign is to bring expats back for all the vacant jobs that we have. We need to keep the companies here and grow them. Um, that will increase the demand. Uh, butts and seats are really what will drive greater access out of our airport. Buffalo might not have the business demand it needs yet, but it definitely has the tourist demand. Almost 40% of Buffalo passengers come from Canada, and at the airport in the falls, it's about 80%. The nearby Canadian market is huge. It is the most amazing thing in the world that in the U.S. of A, we can fly for so cheap, and it's worth the drive to the U.S. of A to fly around, and it's, uh, we're taking advantage of in Canada. Well, sometimes you might find a good deal from Toronto, but most of the times, you can say 90%, Buffalo is cheaper. Our two airports combined now have an annual $1.5 billion economic impact in western New York. And by 2030, it will be even more, as the passenger count is expected to go up from five to six million. And look, Canadians that come into the United States and spend their money, that's new dollars into Western New York and the United States. It's not just recirculating the, in the local economy. There is an effort right now to get new nonstop flights from Buffalo to San Francisco and Houston. And for those who ask why these things take so long. It always takes long. You're fighting bureaucracies, you're fighting competition. Uh, every city in this country uh, has a major airport interest. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of competition. There is the old saying from that movie, if you build it, they will come. The people who handle these things say that they're confident and they know what new businesses want when it comes to an airport. 
They're going to want access, they're going to want um, cargo capability, and they're going to want to move people. Everybody that we deal with and bring in from all parts of the world, they come in and go, wow, this is really, you got a great facility here. Don't goof it up like a lot of other places where you can see the airport, but you can't get there in time for your flight. Keith Radford, 7 Eyewitness News.